Good evening. This is CTV News for Wednesday, June 3rd. I'm Byron Scott. And I'm Sonia Shavasva. Thank you for joining us this evening. Police are investigating a murder that occurred yesterday evening in Forestville. 28 year old Theodore Weeks III was stabbed outside his home at the Regency Point apartment complex in Walters Lane. Uh, officials say Weeks got into an argument with the suspect and was then wounded. Detectives are working to identify a suspect in the case. Yesterday at about 620, um, officers responded to the 3300 block of Walters Lane for the report of a cutting. Once our officers got on scene, they found evidence that would lead them to believe that a crime did occur at that location. While they were out there securing that location, uh, looking for evidence and the victim, a short time later, a call came into our dispatch that uh, Mr. Weeks, the deceased, was at the Maryland State Police Barracks in Forestville uh, requesting assistance. There is a reward up to $25,000 for any information uh, leading to the identity and indictment of the suspect in this case. Again, anyone with information is asked to call 301-772-4925. Uh, and a 14-year-old charged in the stabbing of a Frederick Douglass High School student on school property. Now, the incident happening yesterday morning at around 8 o'clock. Officials say the suspect got into an argument with a 16-year-old male. That's when he pulled out a knife and stabbed the victim in the chest. Both were transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Officials say the incident stemmed from a previous fight between the two students. Anyone with any information is asked to call police. Well, a bank and a laundromat go up in flames in Bowie. If you drove by Superior Lane this morning, you probably saw a whole lot of trucks and personnel, but nothing to worry about. It was all part of a training exercise. The old Bowie marketplace looks like this, with debris and construction equipment filled as far as the eye can see. But there is one remaining structure, nicknamed the Bank Building. Today, firefighters from Prince George's used it to get some hands-on training. A quick walk around the outside, go over for the rent, where we're, not, where we're going and not going. Address is 3316, two-story commercial. Before they go in, they do a full evaluation, complete with a walkthrough. This gives firefighters a chance to see the setup. And now it's showtime. The call goes through. A fire has been set in a portion of a building on either the first or second floor. Well, the first firefighters have just made it up to the second floor. As you can see, the smoke has changed from a brown back down to a little bit more of a gray and a white smoke. That's a good sign. That means they've put water on the fire. They've got to where they need to be. The next thing that they'll do is begin to ventilate the fire. For Lauren Lucas, who joined the department back in August, this type of experience is invaluable. Well, the smoke was very thick on the uh, second floor. We were working on the first division, but um, in front of you, you could see about six to eight feet. Um, but looking up to try to see what was going on in the uh, second division, you couldn't see anything. Well, as the Bowie Marketplace goes through our transformation, firefighters from Prince George's and Anne Arundel counties have been using some of these older buildings for their practices. But the chief tells me today is a very unique opportunity. The ability to have what we call acquired structures and training them is invaluable because a lot of times we train at the academy in a building that's designed for it, but that's very finite. There's only so many things you can do in that kind of building. To have an actual commercial structure that we can train in is extremely valuable and gives us something different. In 2007, a cadet died while participating in an exercise at a row house in Baltimore, which prompted a ban on such exercises. You know, we're taking it one step at a time, make sure we're doing everything by the rules, make sure that our folks are following all the procedures. And it's like the closest thing to a, a real situation I've been in outside of running real fires. Um, it gives us all a chance to try to run through, think on your feet. And by the way, that new Bowie Marketplace Shopping Center will open sometime in mid-2016. A man reported missing in District Heights has been found dead in a Virginia river. 54-year-old Carl Gable was found in the Rapidan River on Monday morning. He was last seen on the 2700 block of Sweetwater Court on March 30th. Now, police say Gable was camping along the river. His body was found several yards downstream from the site. Police say there were no signs of foul play. 
and police are asking for your help in locating a missing person, 23-year-old Samuel Medrano, last seen in the 6600 block of Adrian Street in New Carrollton on June 1st. He's described as six feet tall, about 186 pounds, last seen wearing a purple shirt with blue jeans, and he's suspected to be driving a gray 2004 Acura ATL. If anyone knows where he is, please call Prince George's Police. And you're watching CTV News. I'm Byron Scott. And I'm Sonia Shrivastava. 